quite a vast agreement among progressives and more Bernie Sanders supporters more specifically that education should also be a right, not a privilege, because uh, in a democracy, a democracy is um, bound to its doom if it doesn't have an educated society. But also, what ends up happening then is you have people taking jobs in which they won't ever go up from. They're going to be stuck there. So then it's more more disparity and more polarizing. And we've seen this because um, in history, it's it showed itself. So, for example, during like the Carnegie and Rockefeller days, when the child labor still happened, they wouldn't be going to school, so they'd be stuck doing factory jobs. That's a great gift to the corporations. Um, you know who is not a great gift to? Kids and the American people. So, for example, if we don't have people getting education, how are we going to get the next next cure to cancer? How are we going to get the next, um, you know, the next type of Ebola type of big thing? How are we going to get a, um, a shot for that? How are we going to get all these different things, all these different cures and things like that? Like... Whether you like it or not, education sparks capitalistic ideas and capitalistic opportunities. So I totally agree with having a tuition-free plan to go to college because it sparks the economy so that it starts moving a lot faster. So, hey, it's like you're not getting hammered. You're not getting hammered right after you get out of school. And it all balances out, too, when you... When you, all you got to do is take a little bit out of the top 1%, or more specifically, one-tenth of 1%, whose effective tax rates are, for example, like Warren Buffett's was, like you said, less than his secretary. So that the whole thing is a joke. So anybody who says no, um, it's a terrible idea. And if you were to raise taxes, it would balance itself out anyways. People shouldn't go to school and then be hit with a huge loan. Not only that, but... We have a student loan crisis right now that could boil over eventually if people don't have the money to pay for them. But anyway, so to get to the topic of the story, because I just went off on a tangent, um, there was a Texas Republican representative who's an old guy, an old white guy. Gee, well, what a what a surprise, dude. Old white Republican. I wonder what his position on college is, right? Fucking crazy laissez faire dude so this is what it says texas republican caught on video bizarrely berating student who wants to make sure poor kids can afford afford school so here's a he's a senator so this is what he said while the policy was right senator huffins who finds huffins i don't know huffins tone and delivery today did not live up to the level of civil discourse that he always expects of himself and others Huffin huffins spokesman matt langston said in a statement uh, hours earlier, video surfaced showing Huffins sparring with the student who was apparently visiting the Capitol with the group from Richardson ISD. So it's like the same thing as like when they send people to war. Like, y you don't have to worry about your kid getting education. You got that in the bag, dude. You're a senator, right? But everybody else who's poor and can't get it. And I just, I have to tell you guys something too. Like, I'm taking my standardized test because I'm getting to that point now. I'm going to be a senior in high school next year. And the test itself costed like 60 bucks. So I was like, there are kids in Flint, Michigan who don't even have clean water. And that 60 bucks, they're on food stamps, they're on welfare, whatever it is, right? That 60 bucks is a lot of money for them to come up with. Think about it. Minimum wage, you are you are making shit. And minimum wage is not $15 in most places, if any. So in most places, it's probably like 8 bucks an hour. Outside of California, so in somewhere like Michigan, I don't know what it is. Let's assume it's eight dollars. You're not making jack shit. So you got to cover food, you got to cover housing, you got a kid to pay for, you got to get clothes, car, electricity, water, all this shit. And on top of that, if you're barely making it, how are you supposed to get to that next level to get the damn test in the first place? So it's it's crazy how much how much money goes into education that people don't seem to realize. Do you want me to give them $15,000? Is that what you want? So they can all go to Hockaday? So they can all go to St. Mark's, Huffings asked, referring to two expensive private schools in Dallas. Do you want to give them a full tuition? That is the most selfish thing I've ever heard. No, private schools don't. We don't need free tuitions for private schools, jackass. What we're talking about is public schools, not private schools. Private schools are fine, okay? But public schools are different. Okay, they're supposed to be open to the public for, for a reason. And don't be regressive. We used to have it where it was a school system where you had to have money to enroll. And that's the problem with privatizing education. It leads to a lack of access for Americans. And that is a terrible idea. Never works in, in a democracy. 
He will not hide from passionate or heated debate on this issue, the statement said. Where other politicians might have run, Don Huffin stayed and endured the ambush-style attack, then calmly answered more questions for 15 more minutes, including questions from students. Basically, um, what he's doing is he's saying, Hey, dog, I'm a senator. I don't have to worry about my kids' tuition, so you can go fuck off. That's pretty much what he's saying. Instead of saying... Holy shit, we have a student loan mortgage debt crisis, kids can't go to school, preventing people from getting higher jobs, making people work low, lower jobs that they can never go forward from, and making the disparity way higher. So when you go to school f to get a bachelor's where your starting degree is maybe, or starting job salary is like, what, 50, 60, maybe 60 if you're lucky. If you're going to go to that, and you're like, what, like forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars in debt. And a lot of times it's way fucking more. Especially here in California, the tuition is ridiculous. So, I mean, it's crazy. It's like handicapping them as soon as they get out. It's unbelievable.